kind of get a hold of the screwdriver. Just super glued it on there? Yeah, just super glued it right on there. It kind of acts as a kind of counterbalance, so you can get a good spin to it. That's way cool. So there's four screws. Just screw those right out. Now that you got the four screws loosened up, just grab this plate and it pulls straight off. You want to go ahead and set that to the side. The screws are small, so you don't want to lose them. And now that we got that off, I'm just going to go ahead and take the drag plate off. And there's your drag. What you're going to want to go do ahead is clean up all this excess grease off here. That's a lot of grease. And that's just been forced out under pressure. Yep. You can clean that up with the Q-tip and I'll clean this outside edge with the Q-tip. Should be quite a bit of grease in there because that's usually where it collects is right outside here. And the actual drag plate inside I'll just clean with a towel. Once it's all clean, you're going to want to go ahead and spin the spool shaft. Just kind of make sure your bearings feel smooth and fluid. They feel pretty good. You can, again, put one drop of oil on the bearing. That's it, huh? That's it. Just kind of move it around, make sure it's in there good. Same with the other side. There's a bearing underneath those washers. Just a drop of oil. We're going to go ahead and put the drag back in. What we're going to do first is grease the drag washer. Um, give this, you can give it a quick little wipe down. Usually they don't have too much grease on them. Just give it a little wipe down. Now in the Tiagra, you can use a fair amount of grease. What you're going to do is like to just kind of spread it around even. Now once you have it on there like that, got to massage it into the drag washer. Make sure that grease gets inside the drag washer. It's a pretty porous washer. Yeah, it's a pretty porous washer, pretty spongy, so. Evenly distribute Just it. Just evenly distribute it. Just kind of work it in there. And it should all disappear. Just like that. Now that you're done with that, you're gonna put your drag washer back in. There's a couple slots to fit that pin right there. So I'll just throw it on there and then just kind of spin it until it falls into place. Drops right, down. Drops right in. And now that you got that good, you're gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. Just match up the holes. Just slots right down. Now that cover basically seals it, right? Yeah, there is a rubber there is a rubber seal on the outside edge right here. And that actually seals the inside of the spool from any kind of water, salt. So it keeps the drag nice and dry. You don't need to do anything, you don't need to put any oil or lubricant or anything. Nope. Just, nope, just a little rubber just a little rubber o ring. And there's enough lubricant inside the drag system itself to keep that o-ring moist correct once again just hand tighten the screws I'll go ahead and give the outside just a quick little wipe down. Just to clean it up. Hands are greasy from touching the grease. You can get all over it. Make sure you clean up that outside ring. 
And that's it for the drag. Now you're going to take that washer that you took off before and just put it right back on. It slots on. It's a square slot. It's just going to slot right down onto it just like that. And now your spool's done. So now we want to go ahead and take the frame and just kind of clean it up, wipe any of that extra water away, grease, anything that collects on the frame. That's about it. They are pretty simple. Mm -hmm. This is your anti reverse. Um, you just want to make sure it moves pretty freely. This, these feel pretty good. If they were a little corroded, you can just blow it out, try to get a Q-tip to toothbrush and just try to get as much of that stuff you can out of there. Um, once again, the bearing, you can put a drop of oil on it. This one seems pretty well lubricated, but you can just put one just drop of oil Spin it around just so it gets throughout the bearing, and that's it. And now that your frame's cleaned up, you're ready to put your spool back into your frame. I just take it in there like this, stick it in there, and I just turn the gear, and it falls into place. Sweet. Now that we got this, I'm going to clean this side of the spool up. It's our clicker plate. I'm just going to take a Q-tip. And just run it right along here. Okay. Just going to run the Q-tip right around the spool, clean all this up. You want to make sure this plate right here is well greased. We just use little grease brushes. Just a little bit of grease on it. This one's already got grease on it. And I'll just run it right along here because this is your clicker plate and the clicker comes down into these holes and that's what makes the noise, but you want it well lubricated. That way it runs on there freely. It doesn't gouge a big deep gash into your so clicker plate. Doing that one more time, okay? All right, good. You just want to make sure you get the clicker plate nice and lubricated, not too much grease, just light film. Just use a regular grease brush and some or Teflon grease. Just get a nice little coat on there. And you're going to want to take a toothbrush just kind of brush out these gears. Make sure there's no dirt in them. Make sure you get your both gears. It's a two-speed reel, so it's got two gears on it. <laughs> got that all brushed off. Just give it a nice white through. And now you're done with the left side plate. <laughs> now we're going to start with the right side plate. Right, right side plate is pretty simple. Um, you got your main gear, you got your clicker, and you got a bearing. Um, basically, all you want to do is just kind of give this a little wipe down. Just kind of clean up this grease. There will be some grease on the side plate. It's your choice if you want to wipe it off or not. Um, I usually just leave it on there just because it's kind of like a corrosion resistant. You know, if there's grease on the side plate, it's not going to corrode there. And it doesn't really get in the way of anything, so it's not going to slow anything up. So, and the salt water reel, Tiagra, it just probably wouldn't hurt to have some grease on there. Don't add it if it's there. Don't add it if it's there. Just you can just leave it alone. It's not hurting nothing. And now we're going to go ahead and want to clean the main gear. So again, just some more Q-tips. Just going to go ahead and clean this up. Get any of that extra black grease out of there. Again, we're going to want to take a toothbrush. And just kind of brush out the teeth of the gear. And the other gear, the other gear won't turn because it's in the two speed, it's in the uh, high gear mode. So 
All you gotta do is push in 